if Andrew Bogut does not leave, if, if J.R. Smith does not roll into him and he enters that deep, does Golden State have back-to-back -back championships? I mean, listen, we're not uh, Carnet. We can't predict the future. <laughs> but, and, or revise and, the past, right? But, I, you know, I felt in the, the last couple of games the fact that they, you know, the number of times that the Cleveland Cavaliers got to the ring and seemingly at will, or even, not even at the rim, those short-range shots. When you've got a guy like Bogut out there who's a terrific help defender and a rim protector, listen, it makes a difference on your mindset offensively. Uh, you know, and, and it's given that you don't have the ability to shoot as high a shooting percentage. And was that a factor? Yes. If they had Bogut, were their chances better that they won a second consecutive championship? Absolutely. For Mark Galloway, the offensive foul. Great charge taken there by Corey Jefferson. Greatly taken to hit. Andrew Blue is a hunter, and he's hunting his shot right now. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. When you go hunting for shots, and it looked to me he was going to the room with the mindset of scoring and not finding someone else, that's when you get yourself in a little bit of trouble. Keep the ball movement going, Cal, if that's what's going to win games for you. Vander Blue, you know, and I'm not trying to call him out here, but the stats are the stats, and it really uh, kind of amplifies this game. He is a scoring guard. 18.5 points coming in, half an assist per game coming into this one through two games here in Orlando. But that's who Vander Blue is. No, it is. And, and, and quite frankly, uh, there's nothing wrong with that because if he's going to make a roster, someone will look at him as that you know, fifth guard 